Why, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Um, as you can see, I kind of just hung out here for the night, as promised. Uh, and we're going to go back out. It's daytime now. We're going to go back out. We're going to go on our adventure. Okay, so here we see all of these different kinds of flowers at the base of this hill. Like I said last episode, I believe this is called a flowers biome. Let's go ahead and jump into the water over here. And we will go ahead and press our F3 and take a look at where we are. Um, I can never remember exactly where it is shown. They may have changed it as well. Oh, 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 hello, 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 hello. Ah, 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 ah. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him. Sorry about that. Uh, we are in the flower forest, the biome. I see that now. I apologize about that. Uh, and I apologize about the sirens outside if you heard those. Eesh, scared me a bit. Don't know what that was all about. Hope everybody's okay. We're gonna take uh, some kinds of each flowers, obviously, because you never know which ones we're gonna want back at home. I don't know. I don't know which ones are like ones that we don't have either. But I think that'll be okay. I mean, that number we don't need that. By the way, we are getting very full on our inventory. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and combine these pickaxes now. There we go, full durability. A little bit of a waste, but it won't be that big of a deal. Go to those seeds for the second time. There's some pigs roaming out here in the flower forest. I like it. I think it looks very nice. Let's go ahead and get to high ground and take a look out and see see if we can't see anything uh, that might pique our interest uh, out in any of the directions. Let's go ahead and eat while we do it. I know it is a little loud when we eat. Because um, it's the closest thing to our faces, right? I mean... To be fair, that's how it should be. Come on. Let's go ahead and get higher up here. It's very hilly over here. That's pretty cool. This is kind of like an oasis here. Come on. Come on. There's just forest for far as the eye can see. Looks like we're just going to keep heading one way. I mean, it's the best thing. Hopefully, we can find, like, maybe an ocean to cross or move along here in a little bit. But this is this is still pretty cool to see. Like, the difference between, like, the, the trees all inhabiting this area. Let's keep eating because I keep, I keep running. It's probably not the best idea. Um, and we're going to probably start heading back when I hit about... Uh, a little less than half the food I have uh, just to be safe you know the trip back is gonna take just as equal amount of time usually oh. uh, obviously we're gonna do a lot of wandering so so we'll we'll be okay partly what is this there's something bright over there on the shore and I can't tell what it is so we're gonna go towards it because ooh shiny so let's go ahead and get Run over here. I know it seems like a long, a long detour, but it's a lot better than swimming, running a little bit further to be able to jump over a different section. It's a lot more helpful. Hi. They. Oh yeah, and because sheep drop mutton, I I keep forgetting that they keep drop. They drop like lamb shanks. Um, we can kill those too because why not, right? Plus we'll have wool and survive the long, long scary nights. Homes that way. Oh, this is a swamp biome. Oh. <gasps> Let's go take a look around it. But first, I wanted to see what was shiny over here. Oh, I was right. These are another kind of flower. We are doing awesome on the flower game. We have a bunch of new colors. Um, these are blue orchids. Very awesome. By the way, I think blue orchid is a song by... Who is it? I want to say the White Stripes, but I'm probably wrong on that one. Um, I know it's a good song, though. This is very cool. You see how the, the land is actually scattered about here? So it looks like a swamp. Very cool. Okay, so do we take a boat through here? I think we do. I think that'll be our best bet. Plus, we'll, we'll conserve on a little bit of, of running so we don't run as much. Even though getting through some of this might be a little annoying. Oh, yeah, these are lily pads, by the way. If you don't know, lily pads used to be the destroyer of boats. Now they get destroyed when boats run them over. Um, they they are a very cool block entity because they are very low. Um, they can't be placed on anything but water. But what's very cool about them is you can make 
paths. So you can walk right across the water on lily pads. See? We're not sinking in or anything. And so we'll just take some of these for home. Maybe we want some for decoration or I'm not quite sure yet, but you never know. Our inventory is getting very full very quickly. And as you can see, my hunger goes down very quickly because these melons are not very saturated. So let me just go ahead and eat on up again here. Boom. And now let's go ahead and make our boat. And we'll take our crafting table with us as well. Now, home is that direction. Yes. So what we're going to want to do is come around here. We'll go to the left a little bit. Hopefully we can get through some of this area. Get out of here. Don't you touch my boat. Don't you touch my boat. See, as you see, we broke the lily pads there. It used to that not be the case. Your boat would break, and that was even worse. Sometimes it does, like that. Um, but it doesn't happen nearly as often as it used to. Like the like the boats and the lily pads touching, it would just go absolutely haywire. Let's go ahead and run this. Have we Have we been here? Hmm. That was odd. The tree being cut down. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and pick this guy back up. Get our new boat going. Get across this vast ocean. Because I did wish for another ocean. So I might as well take it for granted. Now keep scanning the water like below water because there's a new temple. The water temple. And um, there's some pretty crazy mobs in there. Not not that and I'm not really um, well versed on them yet. So I think it'd be very cool to run into them. And um, and see what they're all about. See how they fight and all that all that stuff. But I don't want to like spoil it by, by going and playing with them prior. Because I think a genuine reaction and seeing how they actually work would be a lot a lot better content. This is a pretty large this ocean. It's nice though. It's not like too big where it's just like empty water everywhere. This is very cool. Is this like a tropical island or does it connect? It might be a tropical peninsula. It is a tropical peninsula. So we're not going that way. So we won't be able to get back around. Very cool, though. Remember, we're keeping our eye out for temples and things. There's a melon up there. Right there. I thought my boat broke. I, I, I got scared. I, I jumped a little bit. I am, I am amazed that we have not run into a desert yet, though. Because usually by this point, I mean, you're going to find something. This is very cool. Very large oak trees right next to the uh, jungle trees. Okay, okay, we're going to slow down here. Oh, this is another biome. Let's go ahead and check out this biome. Don't break on me. I want to keep you. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Got our boat back. So we're going to run on over to this new biome. The sun seems to be going down already. So, all right. I think we're going to try to survive the night tonight. We are not going to cower it away. Last time we did it just because it was, a, it was a good cutting point for the episode. But I believe that we're better off staying out for tonight. And the safest place to be usually at night is in the water. Um, in a boat as long as you're not like crashing into land obviously and stuff. So we may do that as night falls upon us. This is a very cool biome. Let's go ahead and check the name of it. It is the Swampland. It's still Swamplands. It's very interesting because it kind of went up and down, so I thought maybe it was something different. It seems to be the lava up there because I know we haven't been up there to place torches. Let's go ahead and jump, jump, jump. Boom. Now we are getting low on food, so we are going to have to head back pretty soon here. But... To be fair, we did get a lot of cool new things, and I did get to explain a lot of very awesome things. We need to look out for lily pads because they will break your boat still. Um, we're getting some slow loading over here in the distance. That's fine. Get out of here, squids. Get out of here. 
All right, so I did a little bit of uh, uh, quiet trolling around, if you didn't know trolling, besides making jokes and stuff, uh, is actually used for like boating, it's a boating term. Um, and I found this guy. I don't know if we've run into these guys yet, but basically they're just zombies, but they are uh, villager zombies. So if you give them the correct, I believe it's a golden apple and a potion of healing. First, you hit them with the splash potion of healing, and then you give them the golden apple. I believe they can turn back. They have a chance to turn back into villagers, and you can actually breed with them from there. But yeah, I thought I'd just point him out, and uh, I'll get back to it and see if I can't find anything out here. Alright, so on my adventures, obviously, I didn't run into anything new. Uh, I thought that maybe if we went far enough, we might find it a newly generated village. Unfortunately, we have not, and we are running, we're, at least we're starting to run low on food, so we're going to take a trip back home. Now, home, because of our compass, is that way, but because we took water, uh, I think it's going to be the fastest if we if we follow the water for a bit, and then... We walk the rest of the way. We just want to get as close as we can to using the water or retracing our steps before we um, before we absolutely have to run by land and use up a lot of hunger. And plus it's nighttime, so that's spooky too. Did he jump in the water? I thought I heard him jump in the water. Okay, so it looks like home is right over these mountains. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and brave it up and... Uh, and run over him even though it's extremely dangerous because of you know having no armor and um, having a lot of the mobs out in the middle of the night um, it looks like this is gonna be the, the quickest way home from here on out hello nope nothing thought I heard something drop behind us turns out I did not gotta keep it our heads on a swivel. Hello. Goodbye. Bunnies! Bunny! Help me! You're not helping! You need to help me! <gasps> Is this a killer bunny? No. Okay, good. That might be the killer bunny. White bunnies are the bad ones. White ones are the possibly killer bunnies. No. Okay, we're okay. I think the killer bunny's eyes are horizontal instead of vertical. Um... So that's how you can probably tell the difference. But there's more bunnies, so that was pretty cool to see. Uh, especially in the variety colors, because the last bunnies we ran into last episode um, only were in brown. And it's obviously cool to see, just like horses, how bunnies can spawn um, with different patterns. Go ahead and eat. Okay, there's mobs close. And I will continue my run back home. There's zombies chasing us. I think we got to take the leap of faith. Hup. Nice. Get out of here. No, don't follow me down the cliff. We're going the right way. Good. Now remember, we're keeping our eye out for that R on top of that hill. Ah, get out of here. Got him. Wait, did I get that bone? Yeah, I got it. Okay, good. Just in case we need more bone meal, it's nice to have. Nope, more skeleton. Nope. Nope. Nobody here to fight you. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's keep our head on a swivel here. We'll take a look at that. That's that's a pretty cool generated structure. Uh-oh. Looks like we gotta go over more water here. We're gonna eat... Because it looks like it's, it's becoming daytime, but still need to be safe. Because creepers and spiders, like those creepers right there. Oh, and baby zombies don't despawn in the uh, in the daytime. Or they they do despawn. They don't burn. Where's the little guy? I heard him. There he is. So let's go ahead and jump over here, and we'll we'll go ahead and try to get a safe distance away from that little guy, and then we'll make our boat, and we'll get the heck out of here. go I don't think I want to use any of the new wood for that so let's go make a classic one and there boom 
this guy back. I know it's annoying for me to punch the crafting table, but we don't have a uh, an axe anymore, so no big deal. Hop in. There we go. Let's go. It says home is straight this way. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go straight this way. Now, I was debating on whether or not to put this map up for download. Um, if you guys are interested in that, please let me know in the comment section down below. Because uh, I would definitely love you guys to, to see where I am at. Oh, wait a second. What do we have over here? I think we've found ourselves a water temple. We have. We have found ourselves a water temple. I don't know if there's a way to mark this, but I don't I don't want to fight that guy right now. I don't know how to fight him, and I'm just I'm afraid to. Um it looks like we're very we gotta be very close to home, right? Home's home's gotta be just like over this way. So we're gonna keep heading home, but the water temple's over here, so what we're gonna wanna do is let's go ahead and construct like a big structure. I don't, I don't know where, though. I'm, like, very nervous to go attack this water temple now that our boat's dead. That's awesome. Uh, I, I don't like those noises. Yeah, I don't like them. Um, oh, it, says, it says our spawn point's that way, but I think home is that way more. But I don't want to lose this water temple, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to end up building... A big pull up, and we're going to look for home, see if we can't see it from here. Okay. Okay, I can't see home, but this pole is going to stay here because... We want to know. Now, please make it back to the surface. Okay. So now we'll see that huge pole and be like, oh, wait, there's a water temple near here. But I think we're going to keep heading in the direction of, that it says our home is in. Um, let's go ahead and make our boat here with the last amount of wood that we have ready. Pick this up. Because we're not correctly geared up, and I'm not correctly, uh, uh, I'm not correctly trained on how to take on that temple, and I don't want to go into it absolutely blind. Uh, I'm going to obviously learn what what those monsters can do. At least uh, we are going to take them head on, though. Like I said, I do I do want it to be a very genuine reaction. So I've never run into them before. I've never I've never messed around with them before. Um, but I know we're going to need some more gear if we want to take those guys on. Okay, so here's the dark forest where the meets the jungle. I, but it says we're going the wrong way. we got to be going the other way. We go this way? Can we go through this way? Let's hope so. I like this, uh, this, uh, this like, the randomly generated creeks that run through. Stuff like this, I think it's very cool because then it's like, it's like real, you know, real land generation where... You can kind of get through big forests just by water. Okay, so there's some sugar cane over here. Jeez, how far past our home did we go? Oh, there's the R. I saw the R. Ready? We're going to get out. We're going to break this boat right away. No, 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 no. Thank you. Okay. So, there's the R. You see it? So, that means home should be like right here. Home. But still, it marks our home way over there. But home, home, we are home. Let's go take. Let's go see if we can't take this bridge over back to home. Hup. So close. Ooh, spooky. I think we gotta go up more though. I think we gotta go a little bit further, and then we're there. Yeah, we are. Boom. Take this vine down. Oh, there we go. And we are home. I'm going to go ahead and eat up. And um, I'll do some cow maintenance. Make sure that they are all bred between episodes here. And next episode, we will be heading over to that water temple with me having a little bit more knowledge about what we need to be getting. Be. Get. Be. Um,
be prepping for and what what knowledge I should have going into it. Um, but yeah, while I'm off off screen, I'm gonna go feed the cows. I will organize our chests as well, and I will put away our spoils. Um, I think we did very very well for what we did. We got some dark oak saplings, so I'll, I'll probably go out and plant those as well. We'll plant some spruce, and I'll put out some of the flowers as well, just because I think they deserve to be out there. Uh, and then I'll put out some lily pads as well, because you know it's it's not it's not. Like, it, we got to use our spoils of our adventure for something. And finding that water temple was just icing on the cake, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please remember to hit that like button. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And uh, tell your friends about me, maybe. I mean, if you want. Yeah? Like, maybe they'll like my channel. Who knows? Okay, guys, I'll see you later.